John Guy Moses learned fly fishing from an uncle as a young man in the rivers of Mapioya in central Kenya. Since then, he's been hooked. I like fishing. Fishing is my, the best game I have in life. Fishing is a, the only thing that uh, makes me happy. <clears throat> and uh, even if uh, things go bad on the side of fishing, me, I am never happy with fishing. So there is nobody who can stop me fishing. Today, John is a guide for visitors who come from all over the world to fish in Kenya's highlands. Britain introduced trout here in the early 1900s, in the days of colonialism. The Kenya Fly Fishers Club, one of the oldest in Africa, was started 102 years ago. Fish don't draw the same crowds of tourists as the Big Five on Kenya's savannas. But the region offers remarkable experiences, says Zach Gishane, who owns a fishing lodge. Imagine spending the morning from dusk to afternoon fishing in the afternoon out taking pictures of the wild animals. Where else can you have uh, this? And you have the opportunity to fish inside and outside the park among the elephants and you're fishing for trout. This is the only place. There's even a thriving local fly tying industry which supplies customers from Norway to New Zealand. These artificial tiny baits are designed to imitate the insects fish eat. Some estimates suggest a third of the flies used in Europe come from Kenya. John Nyapola custom designs fishing flies for export around the world. Most of, our, of the customers outside, they prefer working in Kenya with Kenyans. So they give us big orders. By having big orders, you will have to employ more people. Enthusiasts think promoting the sport can create jobs and help protect the rivers. At one point, 2,000 kilometers of trout fishing rivers crisscrossed Kenya. Today, it is much less. Veteran fisherman Musa Ibrahim explains. Uh, pressure for land is making water obstruction uh, more prevalent in most of the good trout and sports that we had in this country. And uh, conservation, if we don't conserve what, what's left now, in the next generation, in the next 30 years, we will not have any good trout rivers left in this country. But John and Musa are perhaps unique. Many people who live in Matuya Valley see fly fishing as a vestige of the colonial era. Here, they fish to eat rather than for fun. 